This is a very unusual couple. Charles Joseph is the Prince of Belgium, and his wife Lorraine is a former saleswoman from China. It seemed that they were not destined to be together. However, love turned out to be above all, so they got married in 2010, and Lorraine became the first Chinese woman to marry a European prince. How did they meet, and how does the couple live 13 years later? Keep watching the WOW channel. History knows several examples of mixed marriages in royal families. The most famous example is the British Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. When the news of their marital union in 2018 hit the headlines of every tabloid paper in the world, everything from the couple's awe-inspiring love story to the bride's colored identity was discussed in the media. Not only did the royal wedding break long-standing imperial rules and protocols, but it also stirred up a discussion about interracial marriages in royal societies around the world. Besides being the first of its kind to have caught the eye of the public in recent years, Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding wasn't the only interracial marriage throughout royal histories. In 2000, many years long before this famous wedding, Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein married Angela Brown, a Panamian fashion designer. The bride walked down the aisle in a dress of her own design. This outfit later inspired Meghan Markle. Just look how similar their wedding dresses are. The couple wed at the Church of St. Vincent Ferrer in New York. The marriage was groundbreaking in Liechtenstein, while the union was met with negative remarks from the royal family. The majority expressed their best wishes for the couple and did not express any prejudice towards their new princess. The couple has been living happily together for 23 years, and they have also raised a son. However, they don't like appearing in public and attracting attention. There have also been other examples of intermarriage in royal families throughout history. For instance, in 1957 the King of Sikkim married Hope Cook, an American socialite from New York City. In 1972 Princess Ubol Ratana of Thailand married Peter Led Jensen, an American. For the sake of the wedding she even had to give up the title of princess. However, these two marriages eventually broke up. Here is one more exciting example of a mixed marriage, which I want to talk about in this video. In 2010, Prince Charles Joseph de Ling married Ren Li from China. She became the first Chinese woman to marry a European prince. They met a year and a half before the wedding and appeared together at family events. The groom was 30 years old and the bride was 26 at the time of the marriage. High-ranking guests from both the groom and bride were present at the ceremony. The couple's parents accepted this union with joy. None objected to this marriage, since they are progressive and far from prejudices. The young prince was accompanied by his parents and grandmother. Her parents, brother, uncle and several Chinese friends were on the bride's side. The wedding celebration took place at the famous Antoine Castle in Belgium. This castle dates back to the 12th century and in the 19th century it was completely rebuilt in the neo-Gothic style. Today Antoine Castle is a Walloon cultural heritage site. For many centuries the castle was the residence of the De Ling family of princes, including Prince Charles Joseph of Belgium. The prince belongs to a very ancient and noble European family. The House of Ling predates the founding of Belgium and came to prominence in the 11th century. The family received its title in 1601, when Emperor Rudolf II made a diplomat Lamorel the first prince of Ling. As a diplomat, Prince de Ling was involved in many historic events of his time. In 1923, the Belgian crown officially acknowledged the highness style for the family.
Prince Charles Joseph de Ligne of Belgium was born in 1980 in the Paris district. Today he is a French-Belgian contemporary visual artist. Several years before he was a landscape architect in the French capital. The prince holds exhibitions and auctions. He is a great lover of art and beauty. The wife of the Belgian prince is a girl from a working-class Chinese family. Li Ren was born in Huhua, China. She excelled at school and was accepted to the Beijing Language and Culture University, where she studied economics. Then she entered the Sorbonne University in Paris. In France, the girl received a master's degree in luxury goods marketing. Li Ren was interested in the arts when she was young and learned to play the piano. She is fluent in Mandarin, English and French. Despite her non-noble background, Li Ren is well educated and appreciates art as much as her husband. She was a consultant for Balenciaga, Fendi and Dior and met Prince Charles Joseph de Ling as a saleswoman. Their first meeting took place when she worked at a fashion house. They started talking about art and found many common topics for communication. The girl demonstrated excellent knowledge in the field of art, which amazed the prince. Charles was delighted with her ability, grace and beauty. He admitted more than once that he had always been interested in and inspired by Asian culture, so he realized that this girl had been sent to him by fate. They first saw each other in Paris. In the romantic atmosphere of this city, they began to date and fell in love with each other. Like her artist husband, Lee has a special love for beautiful and expensive things and well-developed taste. She is well-versed in high fashion, having worked as a consultant for high and luxury boutiques. The princess demonstrates an impeccable dressing style. She loves classic silhouettes and looks good in both pant suits and flowing dresses. She often lets her hair down, harmonizing with her Parisian style. The couple welcomed their first child in 2012, two years after their wedding. Today their son is already 11 years old. Li Ren currently works as a consultant for a perfume house. The couple leads a relatively private lifestyle. They prefer to appear only sometimes at social events. That's why newspapers and magazines rarely write about their personal life. Li Ren recently visited her first school in Huhua, China, which is her hometown. She spoke to the students and told her inspiring story. The princess also met with former teachers and planted several trees. In China, her visit caused a great stir, as many local newspapers wrote about her trip. However, Li Ren behaved quite modestly and tried not to attract much attention to herself. Like an actual princess, she acts in a reserved manner and great dignity. Stories like this are very inspiring. A simple girl from an ordinary family found her prince and became a princess thanks to her intelligence and charm. It's good that in the modern world there are fewer and fewer prejudices and now a girl of any origin can become the wife of a prince. Do you agree? Thanks for watching. Remember to share your thoughts with me. Click like and subscribe. See you next time.